New at six, public libraries across the state are faced with figuring out an array of new rules, all while some lawmakers are threatening to pull their funding. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon joins us live tonight in Jefferson City after watching lawmakers debate library funding. Hannah, that debate on state funding still going on right now. Yeah, Lucas, Megan, that debate is still going on. They have not gotten to the House bill that has the library funding in it yet, but we heard a little bit about that last week. I also just got off the phone with the president of the Missouri Library Association, Otter Bowman, tells me that it's a really stressful time to be a librarian because of all these new changing rules and all of the book challenges that are increasing. She says this is going to be especially difficult as they try to figure out how to implement these new laws. I think it's up to the library boards how they spend their money. Uh, I don't think we need to have the state regulating the library boards on how they do their work. This morning, House lawmakers changed a bill that would have limited libraries' abilities to buy new technologies and books. This afternoon, the House started its debate on the state budget, which includes state funding for public libraries. This is going to impact people in the cities, people in rural areas throughout the state who rely on their local libraries for essential services. While in committee, House Budget Chairman Representative Cody Smith suggested cutting the four and a half million dollars in library funding because he says a lawsuit filed against a new law on sexually explicit books is wasting state funding. Tom Bastian with the ACLU Missouri tells me libraries aren't spending any money on the lawsuit which his organization is doing pro bono. Their choice to retaliate against two private volunteer-led organizations by punishing the patrons of Missouri's public libraries is appalling. The state funding is very important for all public libraries. The Daniel Boone Regional Library receives in the ballpark of $168,000 from the state, but for rural libraries, it's going to be even more of a challenge if that were to be cut because that's where the majority of their funding comes from. Reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. All right, Hannah, thank you. In addition to those bills in the legislature, a rule proposed by Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft preventing libraries from using state money to buy obscene books will go into effect on May 30th.